all my friends. Well, 2020 was a year of great uncertainty and rapid change. The people who were with us in the forge lived through it, pivoted, survived, and even excelled because of what they learn in this space, this place where you belong. Guys, you come to Badass Agile for a reason, because we're different, because there's nothing else like it in the world. So click below to sign up for an upcoming info session so you can learn more, hear from people who have been through it, listen to how their lives have been changed forever, and then take the leap with me, won't you? Let me put you in the driver's seat of your own excellence, only here in The Forge. See you in the spring. Hello, all you badass people. I hope everyone's doing well. I want to talk to you like I love to talk about fear. I like getting in touch with fear. I like facing it head on and looking at it, examining it, trying to figure out its origins, but also trying to wrestle with it. It's that dragon you never seem to be able to tame. It's always there, it's never far away. But a lot of times, we don't know that we're struggling with it. You don't have to feel fear in order to be living with tremendous amounts of it. When we think of fear, we think of butterflies, we think of trembling limbs, sweating, freezing on the spot, unable to move, paralyzed with fear. Our heart feels up in our throats, it's beating fast. We can sense the threat, we can sense danger, but that's not the only kind of fear. Obviously that kind of fear is present it's self-evident, but there's also that low-level fear that we don't really sense because it doesn't have the same kind of physical presence. It's not as imposing. There's no real existential danger, so it's not knocking on our door like a desperate neighbor. It's just kind of sitting there. It's guiding our decisions, though. It's telling us, don't speak up. You're not smart enough. Don't speak up. You don't deserve it. You're not entitled. You don't belong. You don't know what you're talking about. It might tell us, don't try, because you're probably going to fail. People are going to laugh at you. You won't be one of the cool kids. You might even get kicked out of the tribe. It tells us, don't stand up for what we believe in or what we want and need. Because someone might set you straight and take away their friendship, their love, their support, their respect, their appreciation. I depend on other people to feel safe and to feel happy. And if that goes away, I don't know what I would do. Those are the kinds of thoughts that are hanging there underneath the surface. And we don't want to talk about them. We're usually embarrassed that we even have them. And we don't know how to put words to them. Well, here's the deal. They are affecting and controlling your behavior. They are excusing you from leaning in to the challenges that you need to lean into so you can improve. They are telling you to say no when the best growth experience you could possibly have today is to just say yes. They are telling you not to be courageous but to sit down because you're rocking the boat. They are telling you don't stand up for your values. Don't be a hero be a survivor. Well, let me ask you a question. If you were to agree with all those behaviors and let your little brain be in the driver's seat as you make those decisions, how do you expect to lead other people? What exactly are you going to lead them on? Your sharp wit, your great knowledge of the scrum process, your wizard-like ability with the talking stick and a team stand-up, your JIRA mastery, your ability to create tickets that are just the right size. So perfect. I mean, those things are good things. Your technical skill, your technical know-how, your process and framework know-how, those are essentials. You need those things in order to be efficient and effective. But if you have this big cab driver in the front seat who is afraid to move forward, who tells you where you want to go instead of you telling him where you want to go, 
exactly how are you leading people. You're in the back seat. You're a captive. You're a passenger. You're a witness. But you're not an architect. You're not an author. You're not a doer. And it certainly would be real difficult to be an inspiration or an influence to your fellow human beings. So what's the solution? As leaders, we have to spend time developing the skill, just like you develop your JIRA skill, your facilitation skill, your story estimation skill, whatever skills you've accumulated over your lifetime, you have to spend as much time developing your awareness of that cab driver in the front seat. Where are they taking you today? So first identify that the fear exists. And that begins with putting yourself in situations that you're not comfortable with. The difficult conversation, the ask, talking about what you need, talking about what you don't like. Do those things with the presence of mind to just check your body. Am I trembling somewhere? Is there a low level ancestor of the fear that I described at the opening of this episode that you can sense in your body? Butterflies, tension, fidgeting, jittering, stuttering, dry mouth, hesitation, sweating, sweaty palms, all of these things that we associate with fear. Look for little miniature versions of them in your body. And the minute you sense them, ask yourself the question, what am I feeling here? I'm feeling fear. What exactly am I afraid of? Walk it through in your head. When I sit down in front of the boss, I'm worried that they're going to say X. I'm worried that they're going to laugh at me. I'm worried that they're going to reject my request. When I ask for help, I'm afraid people will say no. When I ask for help, I'm afraid I'm going to be forced to return the favor or be indebted. And I don't like that. When I state my ideas, I'm afraid I will be rejected and not accepted for who I am. That I will discover myself to be wrong. When I fail, I fear loss of my reputation. Think these things through. If you care to look, you'll be rewarded with a great discovery. And that is to say, what are the stories? The default rhythms. What's the playlist in your brain that automatically gets triggered the moment you wake up, the moment you encounter adversity, difficulty, or uncertainty. Once you get in touch with those things, now you can make a choice to drown them, to push them down, to push through with courage instead of saying, yeah, you know what? You're right. This is scary. Let's leave this for another day. I don't want to go there. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to grow today. I don't want to stretch today. I don't need to get better at this. I'll let someone else do it. I'll save it till next Wednesday. I'll start next month. I'll write that book next year. I'll start that diet as soon as I finished my MBA. Any of those sound familiar? So remember this. Just because you don't feel fear kicking you in the shins, clutching and grabbing at you, doesn't mean it isn't there. Fear wants to go under the radar and gently guide your actions so that you don't know you're going down the road of excuses, that you're going down the road of avoidance, of blame, of delegation of your grandest duties, values, and goals. It's a bit like realizing you've been living in a giant opaque bubble with a painting of the sky and the horizon and the ocean and the sun on it. You're seeing the same stuff everyone else is seeing, but it's a bit of a mirage. It's an illusion. You're not touching life deeply. So this is next level stuff for leaders who are looking to become next level masters. Try this. Sit on this information and reflect on it and think about how you could apply it to your life. Try it and see what changes. Just a tiny awakening, just a tiny shift in your leadership skill. And then shoot me a note and let me know how this works for you. You can find me on Clubhouse at Fuse Chamber or just search for Badass Agile. You can find me on Twitter at Badass underscore Agile or at Badass Agile on Instagram. I love you guys because you're crazy. Can't wait till next time. Until then, stay badass. Badass.